Nancy Burt Priest here, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Here's all my contact information. If you haven't joined my Facebook business page, please do. And I'm also trying to grow my YouTube channel, so um, let all your crafty friends know. So today, we're going to work with um, a stamp set in the mini catalog, Quiet Reflection. I knew I wanted this one right away because we all need... Um, you're on my mind. Sorry for your loss. And it has some nice inside stains for this too. So I was looking different ways to use it. You can stamp it in one color. It all works beautiful. But I came across a video by Lori Wilcox. And I, I, I kind of patterned mine after her. I got a little different colors. and But she came up with the idea and I really liked it. So it's from an idea by Lori Wilcox. And what I'm going to do is I have a piece of three and three quarter by five inches of regular basic white. And I'm going to take, um, this is a clear block number letter, E. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, these are Stampin' Write markers, not the blends. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, this is... Highland Heather, and you can't really see it a lot right away. Then I'm going to go to Fresh Freesia, then I'm going to add a little bit of, what did I put? Pool Party. Well, I hope I don't have something on my block. I guess we'll find out pretty soon. I do, hopefully not. Might have had a little adhesive I didn't get cleaned off. Then I have Azure Afternoon. That one you can see. And the last one I'm going to use is Blueberry Bushel. I tried it with navy, but it just seemed really dark and I didn't like the effect as much. Now, I'm going to take my Stampin' Spritzer, which just has water in it, and I'm going to spritz a little bit. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, she called it a smoosh technique, and all I'm going to do is put this on the paper. If it's not exactly perfect, that's okay, because it's an effect. Then I'm going to pick it straight up. And I'm going to have a paper towel or something right away to just get the extra off. Every time I do it, I get a different effect. I just love it because it's so easy to do. What I would do next, and I'll show you how I made the rest of the card, um, but I really need to let that, that one dry that we just made because it takes a while and it'll kind of flatten. You can um, put something heavier on top of it, but I usually let it dry naturally if I can. And I happen to have one. See, every time I do it, it comes out different. Um, and this one I did oh, a day or so ago. And I'm going to use blueberry bushel. And what I'm going to do is get a little piece of scrap paper. ready to go here and I am going to stamp off. I tried stamping at full strength and I didn't like the effect. So you can really try different things. I'm going to make sure I have it inked up really good. Turn it over. That looks like it's really great. And I'm going to stamp it off. And I mean, look at if you did that on a card, that's a gorgeous effect. And then I'm going to stamp it to the side, really pushing down, making sure I have it all on there. Isn't that a pretty? I just think it's so pretty. I like this effect. I like So Sorry for Your Loss. Once again, I'm doing that in the blueberry bushel. 
Now, when you have paper that's dried, sometimes what you need to do is add glue. And we all know I have a love-hate relationship with green glue, but it really is, or whatever liquid adhesive you use, you really need to kind of add glue on this. Because if you don't, this, it just doesn't lay as flat. The other thing is after it's dried, and I forgot to do that with this one, you can really um, put a book on it, help it to lay a little bit flatter. I am adhering this to a piece of four by five and a quarter um, blueberry bushel. You notice I'm just keep continuing pushing around the edges. And once again, I could, before I put this on the background, I could actually um, go ahead and put something on there. Um, I'm going to adhere it. This is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And I just put it in my um, Stampin' Cut and Mosh machine with the, oh, I always look texture. This is a like the paint texture embossing folder. And I put that in there just up to the um, line. And it just gives a little interest to the background. You don't need a ton, but I just feel like it, it's not completely quiet. It's a little interest. And once again, I probably would put both of these under a book to just get them flattened out. Um, so an easy technique this is a gorgeous stamp set. It's just very, very pretty. Um, I would highly recommend it. I love, I love the images. I love, I've seen people use their blends and color the top and the bottom, different colors, and then stamp it. There's so many things you can do with this. In fact, keep watching because I'll probably do something else with this one. Um, but I hope you try this smoosh technique um, and add some really pretty color background to your stamping images. Have a great day.